This is part 18 of the book, What You Should Know About Gum Disease, The Layman's Guide for Fighting Gum Disease. Hormones in Pregnancy Hormones in pregnancy are both factors that elevate a woman's risk for gum disease. You have possibly heard of pregnancy gingivitis. That little guy or gal growing inside of you uses up quite a bit of your body's resources. I do not believe anyone has conclusively pinpointed the exact reason why pregnancy or hormonal changes cause an increased risk for gum disease. However, they both have been found to do so. Also, there was a study done in 2005 concluding that pregnant women with gingivitis are at a higher risk for giving birth to a premature baby or a baby with low birth weight. This is PubMed ID 16277587. It takes time for new information to be assimilated into the mainstream. Therefore, all professionals might not agree with this information. However, this knowledge is becoming more widely accepted with each passing day. Smoking. It seems like there are plenty of good reasons to give up smoking. Here is yet another. Smoking is a contributing factor to the development of gum disease. This could be because of the smoke's effect on the immune system or the direct effect of the smoke on gum tissue. Smoking dries out the mucus and saliva-producing tissues of the mouth, and smoke is also toxic in nature. Any of these reasons, and more, can be why smoking contributes to the progression of gum disease. It makes sense, right? Smoke is poison, and poison harms the tissues of the body. This ends part 18 of what you should know about gum disease. Part 1 through 17 have already been created, and part 19 will be coming soon. You can find this book in its entirety at whatyoushouldknowaboutgumdisease.com. You can also find products that I think are worthwhile at my store, toothygrinstore.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Shen Yun is a high-quality show coming to a city near you. I highly recommend it. Look for it, see it, enjoy it. Shen Yun.